Today, we're going to go over the installation process of ExactFlat 2.0. If you're currently running an existing version of ExactFlat, then you'll need to uninstall it before installing ExactFlat 2.0. So for doing that, we are going to be running the Windows Start menu and search for Add or Remove Programs. Then we can scroll down until we find exact flat for Rhino and uninstall it. Now I'm being asked if I do really want to uninstall exact flat. I'll click yes. And now I am going to Click no, as I'm not going to be restarting my computer right now. Once I have finished uninstalling ExactFlat 1.0, if you're part of our ExactFlat 2.0 evaluation program, then you should have received an email with the current ExactFlat 2.0 installer, as well as the ExactFlat 2.0 trial license file. So I'm going to search for my ExactFlat 2.0 installer Right click and run it as administrator. Then if I'm being asked to make changes in my computer, I'll click yes. And this will open up the ExactFlat 2.0 installer. I'll click the next button, then hit next again, install all of the ExactFlat for Rhino features and accept the licenses agreement. And hit install. Now that we have installed ExactFlat 2.0, we're going to proceed to activate our trial license file. So in order to do that, we are going to open up Windows Start menu, run Code Meter Control Center, and once Code Meter Control Center has loaded our existing licenses, we are going to search for the exact flat 2.0 trial license file that you should have received in your email. I'm going to select the exact flat 2.0 trial license file and drag it to the code meter control center window and drop it. So this message will tell us that we have successfully installed our exact flat 2.0 trial license. Then I'm going to hit OK and close the Code Meter Control Center window. So now we can run Rhino. And now that we have run Rhino, if we run the command exact flat about, this window should be showing us that we are now currently running the exact flat version 2.0. Our ways of checking if you're currently running the exact flat 2.0 version are by flattening a file and checking if you have the newest exact flat features that come with exact flat 2.0. So in this case, I'm going to go to open, search for a file. And if I go to the exact flat flatten command, now we'll see that we'll be able to preview our SIM allowances. We can play now with the newest exact flat features for locally modifying our SIMs by running the exact flat set pattern edge properties command, setting up an offset distance and changing the start and end conditions as preferred. We can also take a quick look at our newest optimizer. So 
after pre-flattening our pieces. If we run the exact plot optimizer, now we'll see the newest exact plot optimizer window that allow for a multi-threaded optimization process. Once we've finished optimizing our pieces, we can try out the exact flat export profile editor. And customize our exporting profiles. So if we deploy our menu, we will be able to select between some of the new profiles that will come by default with exact flat. And we can also add our own or copy the existing profiles and modify them as preferred. After making our changes to our exporting profiles, we can run the exact flat export command and they should be visible before exporting our files. Either if we want to export our files as DXF files, PDF files, or 3DM files. So if you decide that ExactFlat 2.0 is not for you and you want to roll back to ExactFlat v1, then you can easily do so by closing up Rhino, going to add or remove programs again, and uninstalling ExactFlat 2.0. So we can search for ExactFlat for Rhino, uninstall it, remove all components. When we are being asked if we will really want to remove it, then we can click yes. And now that we have finished uninstalling ExactFlat, we can install ExactFlat v1 back again. In this case, I've got my ExactFlat v1 installer over here. So I can just right click on it, I'm gonna install, and then hit next, accept terms like the agreement, next again, install it back, I'm going to hit yes, being asked. And now that we have finished the installation process of ExactCloud, we can either restart our computer or we can hit no and manually run the code meter control center to make sure that it is up and running. And here we'll see that we still have our trial license available in case we want to uninstall ExactFlat v1 back again and reinstall ExactFlat 2.0 until the trial period expires. So now that we have reinstalled ExactFlat v1, if we open up Rhino, we will see that ExactFlat v1 is currently running. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us an email and we'll be glad to help out.